Good morning, everyone. I unfortunately cannot be live with you this morning on this Friday Groove Day, so I decided to go ahead and pre record something for you, give you an oracle reading for this weekend. So, uh, before I get started, I first want to welcome any new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, and uh, to all those that have already subscribed and been with me for a while, I so appreciate your support. Uh, this past Wednesday, I had Debbie Hedberg on, and it's a really good video of her talking about how one can develop their psychic skills, and she shares her own personal experiences. So if you haven't seen it, be sure to catch the replay and check that out. So before I get started with my reading, this is coffee chat. So of course, we have to start with a cup of coffee. So excuse me for one second. Here's to you. Mm. It's a heavy mug. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. I always like to start with my contemplation cards. Uh, these kind of set the tone for what we're going to uh, see what comes forth. And as I was speaking, the first card that jumped right out is love. Gotta love that. Let's see what else we get. I hope everyone's doing well and that they had a good week. Okay, we got two cards here. We got inspiration, growth, and I'm just gonna do one more, I think. Oh, there we go, and action. All right, and I'm pull a few Oracle cards and see what message Spirit has for us. These cards shuffle really nice. Some of them are a little stiff and it makes it a little more challenging. All right. We have solitary, uh, solitude. Let me see, how do you, solitariness. That's a tongue twister. And we have groundedness, gravity. And growth okay which we have also got that here okay so the message that spirit is uh, talking about here this is more directed towards you um, showing love towards yourself so if there's some of you out there haven't been paying enough attention to yourself sometimes we have the um, the ability or we get into that habit of taking care of everyone else around us and we forget about ourselves sometimes. So if that's your case, uh, make sure you take some time out for yourself, show yourself some love, uh, getting into that place of, of solitude, taking some quiet time for yourself. Okay, that quiet time is going to allow you to get grounded. Um, this is the, the action that's needed right now. And when you're in that place of, of solitude and getting grounded, that's where the inspiration comes from. So maybe there's something that uh, you're working on, whether it's your spiritual development or a project that you're working on, allowing yourself to have that quiet time for yourself, getting into that place of love for you, you get inspired. And that's when the growth happens. Okay, we got growth twice here. So that's that's a very important message. Allowing yourself to grow, but in order to do that, you have to go within. You have to um, release what's holding you back and focus on what you want in life and, and just, you know, being gentle and kind with yourself. Taking action. Take that action so that you can grow. Okay, so that's that message. Let's see what else that we get. we go. We got the word respect. Acceptance and community. Let me get one more. Okay. 
and discipline. Okay. Uh, oh, I feel like we need these cards here. see what message comes out. Okay. We got the eagle card. See from a higher perspective. And winter, take care of your needs. And the heart guardian love and let yourself be loved okay here we go the message continues from the first one that we just did this is a time of you bringing in that acceptance for yourself all right bringing that acceptance because it's time for you to take care of your needs okay spirits being very clear that uh it's it's discipline get some dis discipline for yourself each week, create that, that sacred space where you can focus on you. And also, uh, you know, tap into your, your community as well. There's a lot of people doing the same type of work or same type of thing. Whatever your interest is, you know, if that's something for yourself, there are communities out there that share the same interest. So dive in, allow yourself to connect with others, um, begin to see things from a higher perspective. Okay, open up your, your parameters of, of how can you create that community that's going to feed your soul, that will feed you so that you can grow, right? From that first reading that I just did, uh, you want to create that growth and um, just show yourself respect. Respect yourself, respect your needs, what you need in life so that you can grow. All right, so Spirit's being very clear here of what needs to be done. Let me do one more. Let's see what our last message is going to be. Yeah. Okay, we got the word knowledge. Inspiration again. Got growth, third time. And one more, happiness. Yep, if I could turn it around, there we go, happiness. Okay, uh, I think, let me go back to these here. Feeling called to use these cards. <laughs> I didn't even fully shuffle. And uh, this popped back out. So I'm not going to bring that into this reading, but just know that growth, because we already have it here too, uh, that message is, is really jumping out. So I'm going to set that to the side because it's important. All right, let's see what else comes out. We got attraction, magnetism. We got darkness, the moon card. And we got richness, marine life. Okay. Okay, so again, this is all feeding into the previous two readings that I just did. Um, when you find yourself in the dark, in the moon, the moon is based all around emotions. So as you can tell, she's moving into the, let me do this the right way. <laughs> she's moving into the light here. So if you're feeling in a really dark place right now, this is, again, you see how she's kind of holding herself. That's the love for herself, going inwards, taking care of your needs, what you need. So you can move from the dark into the light. Um, gaining knowledge of whatever that means for you. What is going to create that happiness that you need? What's going to lead you to be inspired? Okay, because once you get inspired and you're creating that love and you're, you're moving forward towards the path and the life that you want to create, 
the goals you want to accomplish, that's when you're going to start attracting and, and magnetizing these things towards you. But you have to get yourself aligned in that, uh, in, in, in love, allowing yourself to love and to be loved and not just to be loved by others, but for you to love yourself. This creates the growth. Okay. That's you growing and stepping into happiness. And from that, that creates the richness in your life, the abundance that you're seeking. So very, very strong message for the weekend. Do a little TLC for yourself. Uh, whatever that is, just take care of you. Take care of your needs. Um, you can still take care of others around you, but you're no good if you're not taking care of yourself uh, first before you start taking care of others. So make sure you do that. And just one last card, the overall card for the weekend, just a message. I'm going to use my goddess cards. I love these cards. And let's see what goddess holds a message for this weekend. Oh, goddess would like to bring in a message. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Look what we got, guys. Love. All right. Aphrodite. And let's see what she has to say. Of course, I didn't bring my glasses over here. Hmm. Let me just quickly read this poem because this is so beautiful. When I open my heart, I am filled with delight, so profound with ecstasy, so sweet with pleasure, so deep the connecting with my beloved takes me to all the places and the union. Is that union? Sorry. Okay. Uh, let me try that again. When I open my heart, I am filled with delight, so profound with ecstasy, ecstasy, so sweet with pleasure, so deep. The connecting with my beloved takes me to all the places and the union plays rhapsodies in my soul. I can achieve union when I achieve oneness with myself. I can dance partnership when I dance alone. I can love another when I can love myself. Okay. We just talked about that and that was in the reading. So beautiful. So, um, it says here, Aphrodite is here with her dance of love, inviting you to uh, luxur uh, luxuriousness bask and revel in love for yourself. Do you spend the day without thinking or saying how much you love yourself? Do you do little loving things for yourself? Or are you miserably keeping yourself on a diet of starvation rations? Do you listen to your needs in a loving, respectful way? Or do you criticize yourself for balking at the schedule you keep, for complaining about the job you hate, for be bemoaning the relationship you endure? Now is the time to love yourself. Aphrodite says that to be able to love another, you must be able to love yourself. Loving others means being able to allow them to be exactly as they are. It means witnessing yourself and your loved ones with love, amusement, and delight. The amount of space we can allow another is dependent on the amount of space we can allow for ourselves. Wholeness is achieved when we can hold infinite space and patience for ourselves first and then extend it to others. All right. I struggled a little bit because I don't have my glasses on, but that is the message that you are to take into this weekend. Take uh, take care of yourself, love yourself, be gentle with yourself. Um, I know sometimes I can get in that critical uh, mode and, and, and start kind of like, ah, why'd you do this? And da, da, da. stop. When you see yourself doing that, just stop, take a moment and just say, you know what? I love me. I love me some me. And give yourself a nice little hug. So that's the message. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Take care and blessings to you all.